Hi everyone, I'm Cabela Hendricks and welcome to our final chapel highlights as SAGU. We've had so many great speakers and worship leaders over the years and this semester was no exception. Let's take a look at some of the best and funniest moments. Who oh, can't wait to get out of the house let me live my life? People think you're spiritual. Listen, I, I was not about to give up my chicken fingers. I need a latte. No, 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 no. Steady on TikTok. Steady on the gram. You're balding. I'm not even familiar with it. <laughs> Next time you see me, my hair will be further back. OK. He took me to a place where they serve dogs that do it really hot. With smoke and lights and <laughs> 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 That should call us to get jiggy with it! And I went to Sagu and there were still dinosaurs in the land. Man, this T-Rex that can't get a job because he can't tie his tie. And I'm thinking my tribe will eat all kinds of pigs that not dogs. Yay, AG! <laughs> um, let's see, let's make sure that I know that this, I've been told that this goes, uh... Jesus! <laughs> Prayer. Whew, praise God. I ran up and down that court like a gazelle. Down goes up, so... I am struggling, I'm yelling, doing whatever I can, with my head out the window, talking about, sit you big up! What just happened? Let me just see. Oh, is... oh yeah, okay. And then, there. Yeah. Okay, great. I said, Coach, I didn't even put lotion on my knees this morning, Coach! Looking for, you know, an opportunity to win the lottery. Get the prize. There's no, there's no corner. I was just pooping, and I'm... Do you hear him? I thought it was funny. <laughs> I'm sure that that uh, little alarm was intended to remind me it's time to, to quit. And soldier, you are dismissed. Have a great day. Stepping into the leadership that God has asked you to step into does not mean that you are ignoring the circumstances that are around you, but is acknowledging that God is holding you. So many of you have made assumptions of what other people think you are and you're living on a definition that may not even be true or you're living on a definition that is wrong because they don't get the right to define who you are. Only the author and the finisher of your life gets to define who you are. Living by the truth means admitting our weakness and giving up our false front of self-sufficiency. Even though you can't see the rest of the road, can you trust him in this season of your life as you're on this campus? Can you just trust him for the next step and be obedient and follow the path that he's lighting up through the power of his word? We hope you enjoy the highlights from this semester. Chapel will always be the heartbeat of this campus and we'll be back in the fall with a new name and a new desire to grow closer to God and his word. We can't wait to see what's in store. Until then, I'm Cabela Hendricks and I'll see you in chapel.